Hi, this is Roger, uh, making a video especially for Noah at his request for how to prepare oil cleanup on a steam engine um, of the Jensen kind. I don't have a Jensen hobby type like your Jensen 75, Noah, but I do have a Jensen 25 with the same basic mechanics. So we'll go over that in a second. What I wanted to show you first was a simple thing of water that you should be running your steam engine on the proper kind of water, not the stuff out of the tap because that has calcium in it and it'll lime up the inside of your boiler. Uh, this is distilled water I get from Walmart uh, for less than, a, less than a dollar a gallon. I think it's 79 cents a gallon. But it's key that it, you get distilled. They've got several kinds of bottled water, but uh, a gallon of distilled is what you need to regularly run your engine and keep it clean and keep the boiler clean. Sitting right next to it, are two types of oil I use. This is steam oil, uh, available online from many sources. Um, I get mine from an outfit called Green Velvet. Uh, this is 30 weight motor oil. It's used for contact with uh, non-steam uh, parts. Moving parts, but they don't come in contact with steam. We use steam oil for contact with steam because it's got uh, uh, ingredients that keep it from washing off the metal quite as quickly as conventional oil. So you use this anywhere as the steam is going to come in contact with the metal. You use this for everything else that's moving. And since we're talking about maintenance and cleanup here, I've got a box of Q-tips. And I use them a lot for cleaning up and detailing around the engine's small parts. I probably go through 500 of those in a month cleaning up after uh, runs on my engines. So let's go over here to the engine we're going to talk about. This is a Jensen 25 cast iron type. But again, it's all the same mechanics that you have on your, uh, your hobby type. Uh, what I want to first show you is that we take some of the steam oil. And very few people do this, but it's a good idea. If you can see my hand over here, I'm inserting this, the needle oiler right there. I'm inserting it into the exhaust port of the engine. It's the pipe that sticks out of the steam chest. And you want to squeeze and squirt some oil in there. Turn the engine over like this to suck the oil into the piston cylinder area. It's the only way that you can get oil into a Jensen. They don't have uh, lubricators built into them. So at the start of a run, do this, squirt a few drops, suck it in by turning the, uh, the uh, flywheel, and you'll be good to go. The next place that we put steam oil is on the valve, slide valve, right here. You can see the tip of, of what I'm pointing to. I hope you can. Um, you squirt a little on there rotate the flywheel. Squirt a little more, rotate the flywheel. So uh, that is in contact with steam, so we need to use a steam oil. Uh, as is the, uh, the rod that connects to the piston, uh, you want to put a little steam oil right around the junction of where the rod goes into the, uh, uh, into the end of the piston. Turn that over a few times, do it again. We don't have to do it excessively, but we want to get it coated with uh, steam oil. So steam oil goes in three places right here where the, uh, the rod goes into the piston or connects to the piston, right here where the valve goes in and out of the uh, uh, steam chest, and lastly way over in the back over here uh, we want to squirt it in through the exhaust port so that we get it into the piston cylinder area. Okay now for the uh, conventional kind of oil it goes as I said anywhere that metal is in contact with metal but no steam. So we put it on the crankshaft, put it on here, we put it on the eccentrics, squirt a little bit between and around the eccentrics, rotate it each time you do that, get a little on the uh, axle, the shaft, right where it goes through these, uh, these parts that stand up here. Just, uh, again, just use common sense, don't flood it with oil, but these needle oilers are beautiful for that purpose, that you get oil where you want it and you don't waste a lot of it. So, and again, any place that's moving, the Stevenson's reversing linkage up here, you want to put a little bit on each of the parts that move, and a little bit on this piece here and you're good to go. Okay, one other place I forgot to mention that you put steam oil is on each time you run your engine before you run it you got a steam regulator in the line press up on the bottom of that regulator, it's spring-loaded and squirt some steam oil in the junction at the top where the tapered part goes in. The idea is get a little, get a little on there, turn it around get a little more on there, turn it around a little bit on the bottom. This helps to prevent drips from your steam regulator. You use exactly the same technique move this up here. on your whistle. You push those back from the rear, squirt the little oil in here, squirt a little oil here, tighten that up, and move it around. Move it around like that. 
and that'll keep uh, most of the time it'll keep uh, water from or steam from leaking out of those valves so anyways uh, that's pretty much it there's not a whole lot more to it um, you've oiled it well you've put it about to put the boiler about two-thirds full of distilled water and uh, plug it in uh, that we we're not using any kind of fuel to heat this or at minimum you have a Jensen 75 so you are using fuel I believe so uh, you'll heat it up with your uh, with your fuel. If you pre-boil the water in a coffee uh, coffee percolator, you can put hot water in the boiler and cut down the boiling time and make your fuel last longer. But uh, that's just a nicety to do that. Uh, if you fill it up with uh, fuel, you may have to fill it a second time to get a good long, uh, good long run, but uh, that's just uh, all part of the fun. Anyhow, I hope that uh, clarifies things. When you get all done, take your Q-tips and all those parts you put oil clean up around them because it makes the oil sort of spatter in places. Uh, you'll realize you don't want to put too much oil on and you'll get oil squirting all over the desktop and on your shirt and everywhere else. So a little goes a long way. Okay, that's about it. Noah, have fun. Take care.